What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to sync the clashes with the issue tracker. So here, if I click the issue tracker, so as you can see, I already have here several clashes. So what I'm gonna do to make it fresh, I'm going to delete these uh, issues, all right? So to delete the issues, just click here, the more button, and then just select uh, delete issues and then you have an option here pick all then just delete that all right so just select select okay here there you go so there's no issues now right so remember on our last video i have shown you how to create a clash test right so you just need to double click this one to go see all the clashes okay and then you also have an option here to go back to your clash test here so if you have several clash tests you'll be able to see it here and then also you can see here the settings that you have made on that clash but currently on that clash test but currently you cannot change the settings here because you are on view mode so you just need to click the checkout here if you want to change the settings here okay if you want to change the settings and then after you change the settings, you can run again the clash test. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to click the, uh, I'm just going to double click this to open up the uh, clash issues. Okay, so just double click this to open up. All right. Now, so for you to be able to synchronize these clashes to your issue tracker, so you can select this icon here, sync with issue tracker, okay? But the best practice, or for me, I prefer to review first these clashes that I have here before I synchronize that to the issue tracker, okay? Because once you put that to your issue tracker your other team members will be able to see all of this issue so it's better as a BIM manager for you to review first all, all of these clashes and then after that you can synchronize that to the issue tracker so how to review so basically as you can see here the status is not reviewed okay so if you click the drop down arrow you have several options here so you have not reviewed, reviewed, approved, or you can even create an issue. If you create an issue, you can change, like for example, the priority. If this clash is a minor issue, blocker, uh, critical, or major. So you can do that by creating an issue. And then if you create an issue, after you create the issue, automatically it will be synced to the issue tracker. So I'm going to show you. So let's say, for example, this one. So this is my clash here. So this is that clash. Okay. So I have uh, two clash there. So I'm going to click this drop down. So let's say for this one, I'm going to create an issue. Okay. For that, let's say the priority for that is a minor so i'm going to select minor i'm not going to specify the stamp here the deadline the assignee watcher or tags i'll just change the priority but of course in your case you need to specify these things here you can even put a comment here so after that just select create so once you select create it will be synchronized to your issue tracker there you go so uh, the status now is open the ID number is 34. If you check the issue tracker, it's now there, right? So I have one issue here, and then the priority is minor, okay? So you can also modify here the settings of your clash, the, the data. So you can specify the deadline, assignee, reporter, the watchers, the tags, and then the default sheet, okay? You can specify from here. Now let's go back again to our clashes. So I'm gonna select the 3D here. So this is now my clashes. Okay, so you can now continue uh, checking out the status or checking all the clashes. Okay, so this is another clash. So you can click the drop down. So let's say uh, this is reviewed, for example, right? So for this one, 
let's say this is uh, reviewed again so as you can see there's a definition of reviewed so use this status for clash groups that will be sent to the issue tracker setting this status is not necessary as you have the option to send unreviewed issues to the issue tracker as well right so let's say i'll just select reviewed for that and then for this one i'm going to select uh, approved for example and then uh, this one i'll select uh, approve as well for example this one i'll create an issue so let's say this is a major and then i select your create okay so again it will be sync to the sync uh, issue tracker so i now have a couple of issues here let's go back to the clash clashes all right and then now if you don't want to review all of these um, clashes, but you want to synchronize that to the issue tracker, you can also do that. Just like what I have said, you just need to click this icon. And then after you issue all of this or synchronize all of these uh, clashes to the issue tracker from the uh, data on the issue tracker, you can still modify that since you are the admin or you are the one that created these uh, clashes. Okay, so let us now try sync with issue tracker. So let's click this. All right, so create new issues for not only reviewed because I only have two reviewed here, but I want to include not reviewed clashes. Okay, reviewed and not reviewed clashes. All right, so let's select here sync one clash test. Just click that. There you go. It's creating the issue to the issue tracker and there you go so I'll just select your OK as you can see it's now all open with their respective uh, IDs so let's go to the issue tracker and you will now see here all the issues and like what I have said if ever you didn't change or you didn't review the clashes here on the clash test so you can still modify from here so like for example uh, this one so as you can see the priority is not set the other options are not set so you can still change from here so let's say I can click this so let's say this is a critical one so let's say this one uh, this is a major say this one um, this is a minor and you can select multiple uh, clashes and then change the the data here, the priority, the deadline, the assignee, the reporter. You can select multiple clashes. So how to do that? You can click here, the more button, select multi-edit issues. And then you can even select here pick all, right? But I'm not going to do that. Cancel. Multi-edit issues. So I'll just pick one by one. So I'm going to select the clashes that is not set up yet. So as you can see, it's the icon here is just this. It's, it's blank, unlike these clashes here. So I already specify here the priority, but this clashes is empty. So I'm going to select all of these clashes that is not reviewed yet, like that. And then I'm going to select your edit. So let's say all of these are uh, major. So I select the priority. I select here uh, major and then select apply. That's it. Okay. Right. Okay. So this is just a basic uh, clashes. As you can see, I only have here 15 issues, but in reality, you have thousands. So let's say, for example, you want to see all of the major issues all of the prior all of the minor issues so that is what we're going to review or that is what i'm going to teach you next time i'm going to show you or i'm going to teach you how to use filter okay but for now that is how you synchronize these clashes to your issue tracker okay by reviewing it or by clicking sync with issue tracker so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.